<laughs> we all went the places. Well. So a lot of our viewers will be recognising you from from people like us. Joyous. Joyous on BBC Three, which yes. I have caught a little bit of. Um, it's gauged a mixed reaction across. It's been um, fabulous. Uh, it's uh, done exactly what I wanted. Really? really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. I hadn't been to Harpe. I didn't know nothing about Harpe. I knew right. Harpe because of Jamie, who I was with in the show. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I knew nothing about it, and I had to go there for a photo shoot Arpeg, <laughs> in the market, in full drag. Right, yeah. And I was expected, from what everyone was saying about Arpe, that I'd been absolutely, you know, I'd be basically assassinated there. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were all so welcoming. Yeah. We were sat at the cafe in the market, Arpe, we were having coffees and drinks and everything. It was good times. Arpe is not as bad as what everybody made it out to be. It's, it's the heavies like that all over our city and all over the country. Uh -huh. I was, you know, I watched a couple, and I'm not going to say, you know, I was pro it all the time. Um, I do think that you came across great in it. And I, like, you came across the Belinda that I know mm -hmm. um, all the way through. So, was it scripted or was there a theme to it? A, the a theme, a theme, not a script, a theme. There was a, a start point and an end plot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There was a start point and an end plot. What was great about each episode though, just going back to that, was every episode had somebody that was aspiring yeah, to get somewhere. Um, I follow one of them on Instagram. The boy um, wants to be. A, it was a boxer. A boxer. Bo yeah. Dane. Dale. Dale. Um, Dale. Dale. And he was. He was. A, he. He just wanted to be famous, didn't he? Yeah. And he wanted to be a DJ. He wanted mm -hmm. to be a radio DJ. He, he wanted, wanted to be famous. famous. Now, yeah, I wish yeah. yeah. And, and, and if that is the vehicle for him to do that, then yeah. so be it. Exactly. So be it. Would you do another one? Uh, there is talk of a second series at the cool. moment, so we'll just wait and see. And you've got your little recording studio and your flat and stuff, so what's going on with that? What's going on? Have we got I just any used that to, line? but I'm just recording a little sort of CD to sell at the bar for the new show, which we launch on the 19th. 19th of no, April? Yeah, of, next, of, next week. Of April, so yeah. what's the new show? Because I know you for doing. Susan Boyle. Or well, this is the thing. I put on Facebook a few months ago. Which numbers would you like to see go? Which numbers would you like yeah. to stay? And everybody's just forgot about all the other numbers. I've spent my entire career basically <laughs> making a name for myself, and everybody remembers me for doing Susan Boyle. Susan Boyle. Yeah. It's so I've updated Susan no, Boyle. Susan, Susan Boyle, Defy Gravity, Wonder Woman. Yeah. Yeah. So are we all going? All going. going. Yeah. yeah. So this is your third year at the show bar. Yes. Gosh. So we must have worked together in Grand Canaria. For two days. Um, what's it about? 2005. 2005. Mm. Gosh, a long time ago.